I had three cardiac arrest on the same day. Uh, another employee, Ron Dia, was working at the far cube uh, desk. He looked over and noticed uh, Edward was slumped over in his chair. Um, slumping over is kind of uh, uh, unconscious and immediately called for the others to help him. Who lower, They lowered him to the ground, a couple of them lowered him to the ground and called 911. Oh, I came into the room. A uh, guy was on the phone. I seen Ed laying on the floor. Uh, I could tell right away he was he was out. I mean, he wasn't breathing nothing. So uh, I just started. I looked at him. I started, "Hey, Ed, are you all right?" I knew he was out. So I just first thing I did was compressions, because that's first thing that came to my mind. So I just started doing compressions. Why? Uh, like one other guy, James, was on the phone with 911. They say if he was breathing, all I can do is hear him gasping for air. I couldn't tell. It was the first time I ever done it, so I was kind of nervous and actually scared. Uh, so we turned him aside and we noticed uh, well, he was turning purple, so we threw him back and we just started compressions again until the fire, uh, fire department came to rescue. And uh, that was it. It just kept working until they told me to stop. And uh, it was a, quite an experience. When we came in here, Edward was already on the ground. and. He'd probably been out, we estimated, for about three minutes. And um, at that time, with the 911 operator, they said start CPR, and Rick started the CPR. And we estimated that, that Edward was probably, it was, it, was, it was very purple or bluish color. That he, he, you know, he obviously wasn't breathing. He was gasping for air. Um, Rick started the CPR. And when the paramedics arrived, the paramedics probably came, I don't know, about three minutes after that, maybe or so, and they continued the CPR, and, and uh, they actually had to use a defibrillator a couple times on, on Edward to get his heart beating regular again, and um, um, they did get a pulse back and a good solid blood pressure, but uh, after they did get him loaded in, in the ambulance and take him off, the paramedics made a point to, to let us know that the CPR gave Edward a fighting chance and probably saved his life. At that, I didn't know what was happening with him, just hoping he was everything turned out okay for him, which it did. It turned out real good, so, you know, everybody was happy that he was It turned out that he was fine. So. And then they came back a couple weeks after just to do a checkup on how Edward was doing and uh, made a point again to tell us that the CPR is, is because Rick had done the CPR, that it, 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 it probably saved Edward's life. I think, like, uh, like, Three days later, or something like that, they say he was doing real good. And uh, so, actually, me and another buddy went. We went to go visit him that weekend. The next that weekend coming up, went to go see him. Man, couldn't believe it. He looked like nothing. I mean, he was the normal guy when we saw him. Looked real good. Feel great. <laughs> no traces whatsoever. I had four cardiac arrests. What's it like being back at work? Oh, this same. Actually, I feel much better than before. Back to the gym, I'm working out. The only thing uh, Dr. Veneta won't let me do this year is uh, play my uh, flag football, finish my, uh, and my hockey. But I'm back to doing everything as normal. Like, we just took the class recently. Now I keep my, after this experience, I keep my folder right there by my, uh, on my uh, nightstand at home. I'm watching TV on the bed there, and I'll, once in a while I get and just kind of refresh myself, because, I mean, there's mistakes I made I, that I thought I should have, but you know, it was the first time I was scared. Of, now I think I'm a little bit better prepared if something like in my family or, or something like that happens. So. I appreciate what he did, and uh, hopefully he doesn't have to do it again, you know. None of us has to do it again. I'm glad you guys uh, presenting him with that award. You know, he deserved it.